figure review this is NECA's Pacific Rim Kaiju knife head from series one this thing looks phenomenal look at that man I like the way they package this too I might have to get another one just to keep them on display in the package anyway here's a look at the back so you can see some nice box art there and then up here it reads Kaiju cat knife head very cool and then down here the other two from the wave Gypsy Danger and Crimson Typhoon anyway Let's go ahead and get this thing out and have a closer look. And here look. we have Knife Head out of its packaging. And I got to say, wow, this thing is just so awesome looking. Just so accurate. I'm very impressed. Who doesn't like monsters? Kind of reminds me of like Godzilla and all that. Look at this thing. Just from, from nose to tail, from just all over the place, it's just packed full of detail. Oh, man, I love this thing. This is definitely my favorite one out of the first series. I mean... Crimson Typhoon's awesome, Gypsy Danger is cool, but this thing, bar none, it's just awesome. Look at the accuracy in the face here. Check it out. And so you can move this mouth up and down, open that up. Look at that. Very nice. Then they got some nice uh, paint apps through there, which makes it look kind of metallic like and shiny. This is just awesome. I like to, I think that's the, the eye there. Maybe, I don't know, sure if the, those eyes too, I don't remember from the movie. I know that's an eye there. But on the side there, there's two spots there. And if you look on this side here, you got another another eye there. But on the side there, I'm not sure if those are eyes. Look at that. And I like this yellow stripe they got through there, which is very accurate to the movie. Just very impressive. And then on the back here, it's got this, like, shell armor, if you will, with some spikes sticking out. And look at the detail on this, those little spikes sticking out there. Kind of look like teeth. Very impressive. And it doesn't come off. I tried messing with it. It's glued right on there. And this guy is actually very heavy, you know, thinking about it. Wow, this is very impressive. So, yeah, look at the, and it. Now, there's no holes there for a stand or anything. But you know what? It's so solid and very well put together that you don't need a stand for it. Yeah, this thing is just phenomenal. For the articulation, I already showed you. You can move the mouth open and close just like that. So we'll leave it open. It's got some nice teeth in there, too. Check that out. Kind of sharp, so be mindful of that. And then for the arms here, all they do is rotate around just like that. So there is no ball joints or anything in there. It kind of stinks because it would have been kind of cool to be able to lift this out and have it kind of like reaching out more, but that's okay. And then it has a standard elbow joint here. There's the range of motion right there. So that's okay. And then these inner arms here, which I think is awesome, they don't move. They're just glued into place. So that's kind of a bummer there, but you know, what can you do? And then down here at the legs, they kind of wiggle back and forth, but basically all they do is just spin in place just like that. And then right here, uh, very limited range of motion here at the knees for the knee joints. Well, and that's about it. And then you come to the back here, and it has this very cool tail. And it actually has a wire inside there, so you can pose that however you want. You can move it to the left, and it'll hold its pose pretty good. So, yeah, I like that. That's very Joint nice. size comparison for you. Now, depending on how you pose this kaiju, he's going to stand about 7 inches here at the tip. But if you pose them certain ways, you can drop them all the way down to six and it'll still make it look nice. So you can see how I got mine posed. And then there's the Crim Crimson Typhoon and the Gypsy Danger. So he's just a little bit shorter, but his mass, it makes them all about the same size. Maybe the Crimson Typhoon is probably the biggest out of the three. So there you go, everybody. Knife Head from the Pacific Rim movie made by NECA. Oh, this thing is just phenomenal looking. Who doesn't like these monsters? This is just a classic figure. Now, if you had to start your collection and you can only start with one at a time, I would definitely definitely get this one first. This is definitely my favorite out of the first three that came out. Well, there you go, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.